And you might ask me, if the person is self-employed, they will have to get somebody who will agree to deduct and they pay them back. The minister said that repayments towards loans will begin three months after construction for a duration of three to five months. Repayment will begin three months after the loan is given. You give a timeline so that they can build their houses or repair, and then three months later, you will ask them to repay. The repayment period will be over five year, a five-year period. That's uh, Delma Thomas. OECS integration working, uh, that's according to Grenada's ambassador to the Organization of American States or Eastern Caribbean States, that's uh, Dr. Patrick Antoine. He says that integration established back in, two, in uh, 1981 is bearing fruits. Dr. Antoine is part of a three-member OECS technical mission, spending the week in Grenada, meeting with key stakeholders updating them about the progress and chatting the way forward. Uh, Dr. Antoine highlights freedom of movement, the liberalization of trade in goods and services, and functional cooperation among the major achievements of the OECS. The ability to travel across the member states of the Economic Union without needing to use a passport. You can use your driver's license, you can use uh, a national ID that carries your nationality on it, such as your national uh, voter registration card. So you can travel across the territories freely, and that is a major achievement because it's been long promised, and the OECS is actually living that dream. The second important thing for us is the fact that when you go to one of those territories, you can in fact stay indefinitely. And that, of course, is where we're having challenges, even in CARICOM, with the length of time um, over which people are allowed to stay. The indefinite stay has a tremendous amount of value. Uh, the third important thing in terms of the achievement is the fact that we do have within the OECS a true customs union where goods and services are traded rarely without uh, many hindrances at all. So we say that we have... Uh, liberalize the trade for goods and services within the OECS, no encumbrances, no hindrances, no difficulties repatriation profits because you're talking about the same monetary union, no difficulties with the payment of uh, outstanding imports, none of those uh, which we have in CARICOM. Those are major achievements for business. Um, the fourth achievement is what we've been able to achieve on things like the programs in functional cooperation. The pharmaceutical procurement program is one case in point that's very important to Grenada. And it's so important that even though we've had fiscal difficulties, we have continued to ensure that we're one of the best paymasters to the, to, the, to the pharmaceutical procurement program. We owe the least, and we intend to continue owing the least on that. And that's an indication of where we put our, our priorities. Dr. Antoine also pointed to the OECS education reform program and the fiscal policy harmonization, among the other successes of the Eastern Caribbean to date. Uh, the OECS integration process has also, offered, uh, has also been offering good opportunities for nationals to do business in a bigger market. Uh, program officer for the 10th EDF, Deborah Blackman, wants nationals to make the most of the opportunity. For instance, um, a manufacturer in, in Grenada can now look at not only the Grenadian population, but he has a population of over 600,000 persons mm -hmm. that he can begin to trade with. They have the opportunities to have joint ventures between a manufacturer in Dominica and a manufacturer here. There's also opportunities for transportation because that's one of the issues that we have had over the years. So we now have opportunities that are arising to do business in logistics mm -hmm. management, in scheduling of boats, in scheduling of freight. So um, that's one of the, I think, the major opportunities of the economic union. And we also have the opportunity for transfer of technology, transfer of knowledge, transfer of skills, transfer of best practices. Because, for instance, everybody doesn't have to, to build a factory. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, somebody in, in Grenada is making arrowroot powder. <laughs> he doesn't have to set up a factory. He can send that product into Dominica to get it um, packaged, 
and distributed. So, you know, it, it just, it gives us, it says we have a bigger playground that we can start to do business on. Blackman's uh, sentiments have been echoed by coordinator of the Regional Integration Unit, Elmergence Isaac. She said that citizens must now see themselves belonging to a bigger space. Home base is not Grenada anymore. Right. Home base is not St. Lucia anymore. Home base is that entire OECS space. All of the countries participating within the economic union mm -hmm. provide your home base. When you're thinking from a business perspective, integrating your business, it is not necessarily if you're in St. Lucia, living in Castries, operating in Castries, it is not only with the gentleman in Viewfort or the business enterprise in Viewfort to the south. It mm. can be with the business in Guav in Grenada. Right. Okay? So, and you can look all the way up north to Antigua. So mm. that is the kind of way that we should be seeing ourselves. Yes, the question of sovereignty continues to arise because we are sovereign states. Right. But it is exercising that sovereignty within the context now of a bigger single space. Coordinator of the Regional Integration Unit, Emergence Isaac. That's news. Stay tuned for sports when you return. Hi, I am Junior Murray. Let's keep our athletes and sports clean. No dope in sports. Again, Trevor Thwaite in with the sports. West Indies win the uh, Dhaka Bank Series tests against the uh, Torin Bangladeshis, two matches to nothing. Uh, Ambrose Philip uh, back in the Rams of football in the Spice Owl. Now for the details. West Indies beat Bangladesh by 296 runs in the final session, the second test in, in St. Lucia on the fourth day to win the series, two matches to nothing. Set uh, Mahmoud 589 for victory. Bangladesh was dismissed for just 192 in the second innings. Ben was uh, impressive, taking 5 for 72 from uh, 32 overs, and Taylor 3 for 36 from 13 overs. Chandra Paul played well this morning as the West Indies extended their lead to 269. Remember, they resumed at 208. For four, well, they continued on to 269 when Chanapal got his century, his 30th um, hundred, and uh, he was 101 not out when the declaration came, along with the German Blackwood, who made 63 not out. Uh, so, West Indies given the visitors some 589 for victory, really an unrealistic target, if you ask me, and they could only muster 192. West Indies winning the series handsomely after you recall they won the uh, three match won the series three matches to nothing. In football, a long time football official Ambrose Slip returns to office. Uh, the senior sports authority official is now the general secretary of the Grenada Football Association, the GFA. He replaces Alexander Roberts, who won the polls for just over a year. Ambrose was chosen by a four-man panel from a field of several applicants who were also keen for the position. 
The decision was made on September the 15th. Uh, the Grenada Football Association, the GFA, says that Philip will be presented to the General Council of the GFA on Monday, September the 22nd. Uh, GFA President Cheney Joseph has extended congratulations to Philip, indicating his willingness to work with him for the further development and enhancement of football in the Spaisal. On the field of play, what do you know wins for the TMR Community College and Monjulu in matches of the Grenada Football Association Second Division played on Monday. Monjulu beat uh, Christian Strikers one goal to nothing at the Queen's Park, while Tam CC uh, defeated Class Hub Roots two goals to one in their game at the Roy St. John playing field in Tantine. The other game between Springs and St. Paul's FC at the Tempe playing field ended in a one-all draw. Meanwhile, the game between All Blacks and Combined Northerners at the Tempe Plain Field, scheduled for Tuesday, September the 16th, had been postponed. The GFA apologizes for the inconveniences caused and indicates that a new date will soon be announced for the encounter. Organizers are promising a keen, exciting 2014 Republic Bank Right Start Youth Football Tournament. 16 boys and 12 girls teams are competing in the event starting next Thursday, September the 25th, at Progress Park in Big Paris in Anjou. Coordinator Finley, uh, Finley Fletcher says that two games will highlight the opening ceremony. Uh, this activity would start with the parade of the competing schools, uh, followed by two games. First, we have um, an exhibition game. Last year's under-21 champion, that's the Happy Hill Secondary, would come up against the Republic Bank Representative 11. This would be a short game, uh, a 2020, 2020 perhaps. And then we have the feature game, St. Mark Secondary versus St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary. Such as expecting a thrilling opening. I uh, anticipate a high level of football because um, the exhibition game, we, we had scheduled um, a mixed team with some girls and boys, but the organizers, the Republic Bank, wanted a challenge, so they asked for the defending champs from last year. Plus, um, the feature game is going to be between two powerhouses in secondary school football. St. Max, who has been a champion on a number of occasions, plus will be coming up against St. Andrews Anglican Secondary, who we all know is also a powerhouse and a former champion in the Republic Bank Cup. So I anticipate a, a great game with you know, both teams playing a high level because um, as, as far as what I learned, both teams have players who campaigns in the GFA competitions. Plus, they have very excellent coaches. Um, St. Max um, is coached by um, Mr. Andrew Monroe, one of our national coaches, and St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary is coached by Mr. Felix Nyko Felix, who is another national coach. So I anticipate a very good game for the opening. Three divisions have been contested this season. The under 15 formerly was the under 16, but we tried in the ministry to bring all the junior division to under 15. Right, this year, the netball will be also under 15, and we have the cricket already running at under 15. So we, we bring the football down to the under 15, right? so the players should not be taking 15 years in the year of the competition. Right? Then we have the under 21 for boys, and the girls division, which is our open division, but we're still limited to under 21. Coordinator of the 2014 Republic Bank Rise Start Youth Football Tournament, uh, Finley Fletcher. Republic Bank have to date spent a million dollars on sponsorship of the event, now into its 11th year. Uh, sponsorship in 2014 is said to be worth $90,000. That's sports. I'm Trevor Thwaites.